This is a presentation of what's new in 2013 R2 covering the new simulator. This is the first release of the new simulator covering milling, router and stone. There are many enhancements comparing the new to the old. We start with much improved graphics. It's available in 32 and 64 bit versions, which is automatically installed for you, giving you faster processing, and we can also process larger files. The much improved speed control with the new simulator, allowing you to run it faster and more reliable collision detection. There's also an option for off-cut removal, giving a more realistic simulation of the machining process. Before I run this, go into the options, into machining, and we will select automatically remove the waste stock removal strategy. We'll run this. we'll see that it is then removing the offcuts from this sewing process. This is new to 2013 R2 and was not supported within 2013 R1 and before. The new simulator supports many new machine configurations and we're going to show simulating the simple part above on these different machine configurations. This machine, the tool is moving in X, Y and Z with the part rotating around Y and Z. And on this machine, the part is moving in X, the head is moving in Y and Z, and the part is rotating around Y and Z. In this configuration, the part is rotating about Z and moving in X. The head is moving in Y and in Z and is rotated, nutated around the X axis. On this machine we have the part moving and rotating both in X and Y. We can also toggle on the toolpath visibility which is a great way of demonstrating the automatic rapid manager. Just to emphasise and reiterate, we do now support more machine configurations, including rotating on the table. If we would have tried to run this machine configuration in the previous version, we would have got this error message. The same would have applied if we tried to run a nutated table or a nutated head. There is also a supporting movie showing you how you can create this rotary B axis. Complemented by this other movie showing you how easy it is to create machine assemblies including this five axis head assembly. Axis combination supported include three axis all machining types X, Y and Z 
vertical and horizontal. It's important when simulating nesting that you go into the options machining and ignore the waste stock removal strategy. Four axis indexing, including part rotating around X, Y, or Z. And four axis simultaneous part rotating around X, Y, or Z, supporting cylindrical parallel and wraparound geometry. Four axis simultaneous, this time with the tool rotating in X, Y or Z. We've already seen this, many combinations of 5 axis positional 3 plus 2. And 5 axis simultaneous as widely used within trimming. You'll also see that there are some new machine components that we can define including axis mount and turret head. There's additional tool collision detection for tools, holders, turret heads, fixtures, tables and other machine collisions and you can also toggle on and off graphically the machine base, guards, axis mounts, turret heads and tables. This concludes this presentation of the new simulator as launched within 2013 or 2. Thank you for your time.